something you don't see every day. This is actually called a barrique, which you find quite often in Europe and not so much in the United States. So I have to ask you, Rob, how, is this about 2,500 gallons or how many gallons is this barrique? Well, oh. we can uh, answer that question uh -huh. for you. This one is 2877, so good for you, 10,890 wow. liters. It was made in 1964. Holy so moly. It's, it's a veteran. Um, wow. These are German oak. And I'll they're be made to a style of craftsmanship that they just don't do anymore. This, uh, the, the shape, they're dished in the heads. They're, they're very individually shaped paints. They're beautiful things. And uh, we got these from Joseph Phelps Vineyards. Oh yeah, And these California. were all brought over by their winemaker, Walter Shoup, back in the, uh, the late 60s and early 70s. Wow. And they had them all those years, right up to 2002. And then uh, they replaced them with brand new French oak uprights. And uh, they ended up here in what was virtually free to good home, as far as I'm concerned. They, wow. And they, they are beautiful pieces. They store wine very well. And we use them for reposing red wines after they've been in barrels. The wines have enough oak. Right. But when you repose red wines in stainless, the wines kind of go backwards. It's an interesting phenomenon, but I think any winemaker will tell you it's true. But when you repose them in a wood tank, they continue maturation. So that's what these are mainly for. Now, that's a term, quite honestly, I've never heard used before in the wine industry, repose. Because when I think of repose, you you think of rest and relaxation well, or and that's basically it, what the wine's doing is right it's resting yeah. yeah and so and you're saying that actually by putting them in the barrique that um, unlike other containers that they still have a modest or subtle benefit with the oak yeah it continues and to it, it, it's flavor. more a matter of oxygen than oak to be oh, honest with really? you really but red wines in stainless get what we call reduced oak, right a reductive here, value, yeah that doesn't happen. So you don't suffer reductive quality. Right. Yes. And part of these, I'll be perfectly honest, they're pets. They're, they're beautiful yeah. pieces of technology. I love and instead of a wine, you just, or a wine, you would yeah, compare a sample. We have a sample valve. And, uh, the, I started my career at Buena Vista Winery in Sonoma once I graduated from college. And there we had tanks that were literally over 100 years old. They, uh, wow. When you looked at those, they were all wood. The door was wood. The fitting was wood. They were, you know, beautifully crafted and put together. So I, I learned how to, uh, how to handle these things. Well, also I couldn't put one together, but I, I could keep one in shape. So. Well, also as a woodworker, uh, looking at this German craftsmanship, I'm just impressed also with the little design garnishes and then also the tiger stripe oh, yeah. and the oak. It's, it's beautiful it's, wood. I find it fascinating also that every one of these bariques. The storage capacity is different. Like this one is oh, yeah, 1,937 gallons. This one is 2127. They're handmade. I had a, handmade, right. had a very close friend who was a PhD and taught PhD level math at the University of Michigan, but he was out here at the Hanford Works mm. designing experiments from wow. a statistical standpoint. And I asked him, look, you know, gig, or write me an integral so I can, you know, figure out the gallonage in this thing inch by inch and he just looked at me and cocked his head and he said get up bucket you, know, uh, <laughs> you you can't measure well enough to, to figure out what these things will now, hold but, uh, is this to my eye or are they manufactured and made in such a way because i'm noticing that the tops in essence or in this case sides they're all concave well, is the, there a the, purpose the, for the that? Concave, absolutely. Yes. It's, uh, so what's the purpose of the concave? Well, the pattern? purpose of the concavity is to uh, counter the force of the wine in the tank. Oh, if it was absolutely right. flat, it would right. blow out. Blow out. Right. And uh, what I'm going to show you here, you look at the, uh, the Frankenstein stitching. <laughs> when we first got these, uh, you know, they we unloaded them in, out of the winery in California, and I put them on hay trucks, and they were up here two days later. But it was August, so the first thing we were going to do is fill them with uh, SO2 water. Right, just right. Just to uh, make sure there weren't any leaks, and also there's a little sanitizing there. Right, you, right. I wouldn't have bought them if I thought there were sanitary problems. But I had, you know, cautioned everybody when we're filling these, you know, go up on top, make sure air can get out. Mm -hmm. Well, it was Saturday morning. I was, you know, greeting some visitors a little later, so I decided I'd fill one. I had a tank outside full of sulfur water, and I yeah. started pumping it in. I went up, I checked, I looked, there was nothing in 
the uh, bung hole on top, so yes. I thought. Yeah. Actually, there was a bung that had been hammered down, so oh, we wow. looked at it from the top, it looked okay. Right. But I didn't get up all the way up on top and make sure, so oh. anyway, I'm filling this thing, and it's sealed. And anyway, after about 15 minutes, thank God it was a low-pressure pump, um, it, it blew the blew head the out to about here. Oh These God. things went flying off and dented the tanks on the oh other side. God. We've moved them around since. And honestly, if it had been that tank, I would have just picked it up with a forklift and tried to make a table out of it. But we, uh, you know, imagine me holding yeah. literally a 12 by 12 piece of lumber and a guy with a probably 16 pound sledgehammer whacking on it and we knocked right. the head back in. I'll be darned. We had to uh, take the gate out and try and reseal it. And to this day, we have a tiny little seat where you can tell that there's there's a little wine trying to get out of it. Now I was going to ask you, is, well. is this tartaric acid no. or is that a little mushroom? That's a little mushroom.